Okay, didn't want to do a part three, but I guess I have to because uh, well, I was told on YouTube the max uh, time you get on your uh, uh, time on on your videos is 15 minutes. So here we go. Wet wipes. I have two different kinds, two small packages. I'll know after the first week how many wet wipes I should be carrying with me uh, for hygiene. This I thought was pretty smart because I used to travel a lot, stay in a lot of hotels. And the coffee that you would get at the hotels had those little packets of sugar, some creamer, little stir stick, and little napkins. So what I did is I took those little napkins, put them in a Ziploc baggie, and I'll be using them for toilet paper. I have a... Uh, Three ounces of hand sanitizer, the good stuff, and my deuce of spades, pretty much like everybody else on the trail has. A lot of people said they will use their uh, trekking pole to dig their cat holes with. You know, yeah, that's fine. Go for it. No complaints here. For my Sawyer uh, water filter, I contacted Sawyer. They are really pretty nice people. Told them I was going on the Pacific Crest Trail. Told them that uh, in all the videos I watched, people were having some problems with their uh, gaskets in the bottom of their filters uh, falling out, getting lost. Uh, they said, hey, why don't we send you a half dozen of them? I said, well, that's nice, and they sent me six of these, so that's terrific. So if you're on the trail, your gasket or your filter uh, loses that seal, let me know. I got had some lip care, and of course, what everybody should be carrying is Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> is the Sawyer Enreach Mini. It was uh, just out at uh, REI, maybe about four or five months ago. I bought it uh, early. Comes with a small carabiner to clip on your bag so no matter where you go, well no matter where your bag goes, this is with you. And it uh, syncs up to your uh, phone so I can send 40 text messages through the Iridium network and enjoy phone uh, conversations or text messages with people. Plus I have unlimited preset text messages. So if I preset my text messages right, uh, like in the morning I can send a preset, hey, everything's great, headed out on the trail to keep uh, everybody in loop. Also, this uh, has a network where you can uh, plug in, not plug in, it has the network where you can go online and see where's Bob. So this is a real cool item. Electronics kept in a small eyeglass case with a pair of reading glasses. I have a... Uh, some extra batteries. These are CR2 uh, 2032 batteries. This goes for the light that I keep inside my uh, tent. Uh, there's a small little uh, white light. It's just slightly bigger than those batteries. Uh, so at night, for whatever reason, I need to see something. I have to go grab my headlamp and pull things out, get a hold of that. I really wish I could remember what this was called. But what it is, is is a little Bluetooth device that connects up to uh, my phone and allows me to put my phone on its tripod stand, go within uh, 30, 40 feet of my phone, and click off individual pictures. It's super nice, and uh, this way I don't have to like wait for somebody to come by to take some still photos with me. Have a extra Petzl battery for my headlamp. Don't know why I'm carrying it other than I bought two. I have an extra an emergency uh, power cord. I have uh, some reading glasses in case I need them. And I have a 64 gigabyte, and this is a scan, scan disk drive that I can plug into my phone and download any of my videos or photographs off my camera or off the phone and put it onto this drive. So in other words, instead of having 50, 60 gigs of uh, photos and videos, now I have 110, 115 gigs of videos, a capacity up to. So in this little case, super light, no problem. Now, 
I've been walking around doing videos of myself and posting them on YouTube. And the nice thing about that is I'm not using a selfie stick. I'm using one of my trekking poles. This little guy here comes from uh, Stick Pick or thestickpick.com. Just Google Stick Pick. It'll come right up. This guy's a genius. Um, Probably charged me too much money, but I'm gonna buy another one just in case this breaks and who cares. This screws into your cell phone holder and uh, you're able to then take it, put it on the end of your uh, trekking pole, hold it on out there, the camera's looking at you and you're not carrying a selfie stick. I thought this guy you know, really hit a genius. They come in different sizes. So you have to be careful. There's a size one, two, three, four, and five. I think maybe even there's a six based on the brand of your trekking pole. So this was the Black Diamond Ergo with cork handles. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's on the right pole or left pole. This fits the same, but what it does is squeezes in nice and tight and doesn't come off. And if you need the two, you can actually put it on the opposite way to just to change the angle of the camera on your walking stick. So if you're walking and you want the camera looking out, you might want to turn this piece around. But it's great and it's very, very efficient. Mosquito net. I was watching an episode of The Whimsical Woman. You might know her as Starburst. And she said well, a couple of the problems about walking the Pacific Crest Trails were the bees. One was boredom. And we'll talk about boredom in a later video. The other was bugs. She was eating uh, gnats and bugs uh, walking down the trail. I don't like bugs. I probably think uh, they don't have enough protein in them for me to eat. So therefore, I shouldn't be. Speaking of bugs, insect repellent. Yeah, this is huge. Probably we'll leave it in a hiker box, but I must start off with something like this. And as you use it, it gets lighter. I am going to look good. Maybe a four, five day growth, but I'm gonna shave. Soap, this is that uh, pure soap it's a um, little, little volcanic ash in it and it's kind of a, a an, it has a alkaline uh, feel to it when it's wet and that's just to help get some of the dirt off my face if I am somewhere I know probably don't need to bring it but you know what I just feel better with it and it, it weighed uh, what six tenths of an ounce taking it with me Tums, again, like I mentioned, Zantac before, just in case of some stomach problems. Uh, non disclosed bottle of 75 SPF suntan lotion. Want to be able to protect my white skin because getting burnt hurts. Um, I do take some medications every day. One is for uh, upset stomach. The other is glucosamine uh, for joint care. And the other thing is iron. I want to make sure I have plenty of iron. So those are the medications that carry or will take every day. And that's why they're just in this little pouch uh, on a in this little bottle in a pouch outside, easy to get to. Now I started with this medical kit, and I gotta tell you. Uh, what it had in it was pretty good. This uh, Adventure Medical people, they don't do a bad job putting their kit together. But what I found out is when I'm starting to look at this, that it just had too much stuff. So I pulled out everything with the exception of some antibiotic and some uh, band-aids and a couple other uh, bandage pieces of equipment and some campophonique for the insect bites because that stuff always seems to work well for me. I like campophonique. It's good stuff. Waterproof pouch carrying some cash. Uh, this is crucial to have some cash. I've got another one of these stuffed away in my backpack in a place I, I, I can't get to right now easily. But uh, it has uh, credit cards, ATM card. It has my passport card, 
but uh, having cash is king. This is something else I'm not too sure about carrying, but right now when I'm doing my walks in town, I have it with me. This is a about three and a half ounce AM FM radio. And it has tremendous volume, runs on two AA, or excuse me, two AAA batteries. Volume's good, uh, reception is fantastic, and I'm carrying four extra AAA batteries. Now, probably don't need to carry these, and I, again, I'll decide a little bit later. Two batteries, 100 hours of listening time. I usually listen to the radio for two and a half to three hours, well, two and a half to two and three quarter hours when I'm walking uh, in town because that's how long it takes me to do seven and a half miles. This is where my phone will be. That's just for cash uh, when I walk by the uh, taco truck. I can get a Coca-Cola bottle of water, whatever, on my walk. And this is the bottle for... Uh, this water here. This is the Avion water bottle. It's a full liter. I have this uh, as a full liter because it was the largest and shortest one liter bottle I could find. I don't mind the way Avion water tastes, so that's pretty good. Well, I thought I would go through this in about 15 minutes. It looks like it's taken me close to 45 minutes. Uh, to do a review on all my gear. Oh, one last item. You know, if you go to the Pacific Crest Trails uh, website, uh, they will tell you, you are responsible for your safety. And that's one of the reasons why I've got that big old knife. Uh, I used to be a paramedic, uh, about 20 years worth of being a 911 paramedic. And uh, I know what knife wounds can do to people. And listen, Get a gun and shoot me. Don't stab me. That's just my opinion. I ended up picking up Wildfire 18% uh, pepper spray. Now, this is not bear spray. This is human spray. The difference between uh, bear spray and human spray or animal spray versus uh, human spray is animals are more sensitive to the, uh, we'll call it capsaicin that's in these. At the time I bought this, this was the most powerful capsaicin in a spray on the market. So I got this. Things may have changed. I haven't done any research on it since then. But being that animals are more sensitive to the capsaicin than humans, it could in a pinch be used on animals. But there's parts in the Sierra that they yell at you or even give you a ticket for having bear spray because they don't want that in the parks, and that's fine with me, but this is human spray. And I just don't trust uh, a lot of people I don't know until I do know them. But it's great to have, it fits on the outside of my bag, uh, it fits right there with, uh, right here on my waist strap, it just fits right inside there, and it's easy access. I'm going to be practicing doing some of my editing on the videos, but I want to thank you for uh, your time. Remember, my water looks like a lot, but it'll decrease once I get acclimated. Thank you. Oh, please remember to like and subscribe. If you don't, that's cool too. Have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl and uh, enjoyed my videos.